Jesus through his last earthly week on earth. Today, as I said, we are going to be walking with Jesus in the triumphal entry as he enters into Jerusalem beginning that last week on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Everybody say with me, Thursday at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. There we go. We're going to have a fellowship meal in the Family Life Center. Uh, the church is going to be providing the meat. We ask that, oh, that's a beautiful sound there, isn't it? Uh, we ask that everybody bring uh, sides and desserts and beverages. Uh, following that fellowship meal, we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper together. This will be walking with Jesus through the upper room with his disciples as he instituted the Lord's Supper as he was then betrayed into the hands of the folks who would turn him over to be crucified. That brings us to Friday night at 7 p.m. Everybody say Friday night at 7 p.m. You're doing great. You're doing great, church. Friday night, 7 p.m., we're going to have our Good Friday service here at this, in this room in the worship center. Uh, we will be celebrating uh, the cross. Uh, I guess not celebrating, but we'll be remembering the cross as we think about what happened on that Good Friday. Uh, then on Sunday morning at 7 a.m., there we go. So you're, you're getting with me. Uh, we're going to have our sunrise service out here at the crosses in between our two buildings. Uh, so meet us at the cross at 7 p.m. And we'll be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord with a, uh, with a sunrise service followed by breakfast. Now that's really important. Followed by breakfast in the Family Life Center. If you have not signed up for breakfast, make sure you do that in the, at the Connection Center in the foyer on your way out today. We want to have a pretty good head count so we know how much food to cook because the men are going to be cooking breakfast. So uh, we're excited about that. Come ready to eat some grease because when men cook, grease is involved. There we go. Uh, so make sure you sign up. There will not be Sunday school next week. Everybody repeat after me. No Sunday school next week. You didn't repeat after me. No Sunday school next week. At 1030, we will be having our resurrect, resurrection worship service here in this room. And so we're excited about celebrating our very first Easter Sunday as River Bend Church. That's going to be awesome. We're excited. Uh, we uh, got all sorts of plans for that. We actually are going to have an overflow room over in the Family Life Center because we are anticipating a lot of people here to worship the resurrection of the Savior. So come ready to worship on that day. We have invite cards at the uh, Connection Center that detail all of these services. We want you to get a handful of those. Take them. To give them to your, your family and friends who are unchurched. Invite them to come with you to any and all of these services as we walk this last week with Jesus. Remember, our life groups are on break this month, the month of April, but Sunday school at 9.15 every Sunday morning is, is continuing, and we hope that you'll start coming to that. I mean, Sunday school is a great way to get to know people and grow up in the Lord. That's 9.15, all ages, every Sunday morning over in the Family Life Center, so don't uh, miss any of those opportunities. Well, that is it. There's a lot going on, correct? Make sure you get a bulletin uh, so you'll know what's going on around here. Check your email as well as check our Facebook groups as well as Instagram. That'll keep you up on what's going on here at uh, River Bend Church. Well, now who's ready to worship King Jesus this morning? Anybody? Amen. All right. Good morning, River Bend. How is everyone this morning? All right, let's stand to our feet. You know, we came to worship Jesus this morning. That's why we're here. And this morning, as we start our worship, I want you to think back to over 2,000 years ago when Jesus made his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. All the hope and all the excitement that engulfed the people that day should engulf us every time we're together and every time that we are, are praising our King because he is risen indeed. Correct? Amen. 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 Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we love you so much, and we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us to come into your house. Now, God, I ask that you just still our minds and quiet us, Father. Help us to disregard all the things that try to take our attention from you. And God, I pray that you will help us to just lavish you with all of the praise and adoration that you are deserving of, Father. God, we come to you thanking you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us, Father. We thank you for life itself. Most importantly, we thank you for Jesus' blood who was, that was shed for us for our transgressions. And we thank you, God, that he rose again and sits on high 
and, and intercedes for us at this very moment. Father, we love you and we praise you. We ask that you come, you join us, move among us, Father, and we pray that everything that we say and do in this place this morning, you will find pleasing. Father, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' holy and precious name we pray and all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Come on. Who's thankful that we worship a risen Savior this morning? Is He King today? Is He King? Let's worship our King today. Let's give Him some praise. Let's worship our King and let Him know just how thankful we are that He's alive today.
Yes, you are, Lord. You are the God who reigns forevermore. There's never been a moment, and there'll never be a moment, when you don't reign. You're our King. You're our God. You're our Savior. And today, Lord, we just want to worship You and sit at Your feet and behold You as You are, the King of kings and the Lord of lords.
2,000 years ago than what was going on in your life. God, we lift our hands to you. And we thank you and praise you that you made a way. And God, this Sunday as we celebrate your triumphal entry into this um, into this that will be your last week, Father, we just help pray that you will help us to remember everything that you sacrificed for us. And God, we will thank you and praise you with all that we have in us. And we know that we fall short, God. But we pray that you will take everything that, um, that we offer you. And God, we just lift our hands to you. Father, we love you. And we thank you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Just want everybody to just join me right now and just uh, let's just silently pray. Uh, right now, everybody, everything's been taken care of, and uh, just want to lift up everything to the Lord right now. Father, we thank you and we praise you that you're here right now in this place. God, we thank you for the folks that you already put in this place to give help and aid. We pray right now that, Lord, that you would just be very close and near. Bring healing. Lord, bring help. Father, let us see your hand at work right now. Jesus, you are sovereign over all things. You are the king. And for that, God, we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory. What else could we do, Lord? What else could we do but bow before you? We know, God, that you're in this place. And we just want to continue in a spirit and attitude of worship. We know you're in control of all things, God. We know that you weren't caught off guard. And so, Jesus, we just ask you to do only what you can do right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray this in your mighty name. Amen. At this time, I'd like to ask our ushers to come forward to receive our morning tithes and offerings. Y'all, this is not something that we just do because it's what we do. In God's word, we are called to give of our time and our talents and our tithes as a token of appreciation for everything that he has blessed us with. And God, you know, um, and people, you know that everything that we own is his anyway. We don't own anything. He just kind of lent it to us. So this morning as we give, let's give cheerfully, thanking him for everything that he has provided. Oh, be. 